Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear viewers, I am very thankful to Applied Zoological Society of Pakistan and Kaidazam University Islamabad for hosting the third international conference on Applied Zoology 2020. Dear audience, I am Dr. Muhammad Nudasar Shahzad from Department of Zoology, University of Education, Lahore. Today, we will discuss about the effectiveness of probiotic supplemented linseed meal based diets on overall performance of labia roheta fingerlings. First of all, we are going to discuss about the goals of aquaculture. The first goal of aquaculture is to fulfill the demands of increasing human population for their feeding. The next one is increase the production of fish for extending human population. The third one, the third is increase the quality of fish that will be obtained from the aquaculture industry. They are the background of problem that we have studied. There is a high cost of fish meal due to high cost and their unavailable supply. We are going to search for some alternatives. Use of alternative protein sources are very beneficial for fish health and their growth. One of the basic alternative that we used in our study is linseed meat that is commonly called as flaxseed in Pakistan. That is the common alternative protein source having a very low cost as compared to fish meal and other protein sources. It is very economical and easily available protein source in Pakistan. The linseed having high amount of protein having best amino acids that are necessary for fish, having best fatty acid, fatty acid profile, and important minerals that are required for fish health. But there is a problem in the use of these plant meals because the plant meal cannot be easily digested or absorbed in the fish body without the use of probiotics. In this study, we use the probiotics that are basically living in digested bacteria and yeast, providing the health benefits to enhancing the host microbial intestinal suitability. Because of these supplement, because of supplementation of these probiotics, we are able to get a healthy fish, and the fish can easily grow by the presence of these probiotics. At the end, we can say that the probiotics are very essential for proper health of fish. Now, we are going to discuss about the results. Number one, we are going to discuss about the growth parameters of Rahu. Here again, you can observe, here in this slide, you can easily observe that, you can easily observe that the best survival and the best weight gain, weight gain percentage, best FCR and standard growth rate were high in fish that were fed on the diet containing two gram per kg level based diet. Following the fish, on fish fed on three gram per kg supplemented, uh, probiotic supplemented linseed meal based diet. On the other hand, if we talk about the lowest weight gain, weight gain percentage, uh, standard growth rate and survival, you can easily observe that the controlled diet having zero gram per kg probiotic supplemented diet having the lowest FCR and uh, sorry, having the lowest standard growth rate and other parameters. If we talk about the nutrient digestibility, in this graph, you can easily observe that the crude fat digestibility and crude uh, and crude protein digestibility were highest in the fish fed on two gram per kg level based diet following the three gram per kg level based diet. But if we talk about the grass energy, maximum grass energy absorption was found in the fish that were fed on two, uh, three gram per kg level based diet following the fish fed on two gram per kg level based diet. Here again, you can observe that the lowest, uh, for lowest nutrient digestibility was observed in the fish that were fed on control and 
5 gram per kg level based diet. Now we are going to discuss about the mineral absorption. Here again, you can observe that the highest, uh, highest uh, crude, uh, highest phosphorus, highest potassium, and sodium digestibility was observed in the fish that were fed on 2 gram per kg level based diet following the 3 gram per kg level based diet. On the other hand, if we talk about the calcium and aluminium, these both minerals were highly absorbed in the fish that were fed on 3 gram per kg level based diet following the 2 gram per kg level based diet. From these results, we can conclude that the probiotic supplementation in fish feed is essential for proper health and their digestion in fish body. Because the presence of these probiotics, fish can easily digest their food and, and can obtain the best enzymes from these probiotics that can help for, for their proper digestion and their proper absorption of the nutrients and minerals into the fish body. So thank you for your attention, please. I'm very thankful to you, to all of you for your attention. And again, very thankful to Applied Zoological Society of Pakistan and Kailasam University. Thank you.